so today we'll be looking at experiment with the helical spring now this is the apparatus that we have this is the apparatus these are apparatus we have our stopwatch our stand and then our mass and then the spring so we'll find the spring constant for this particular spring and then the effective mass the mass of the spring that's what we are finding so we hang the mass we start from 50 right we start from 50 so we take the oscillation for 50 oscillations the vertical movement of the mass so we start we start and then we measure 20 oscillations then we stop it then we do another 20 oscillations then we increase the mass so that's the first value so we do for t1 and t2 for 50 gram then we increase this mass to 100 gram we increase this mass to 100 gram then we start for another t1 so we measure another t1 and then we start again then we measure another t2 okay we do t2 as well then we increase the mass we increase the mass by another 50 so now we go to 150 right that will be 150 then we do t1 and t2 then increase it to 200 t1 and t2 so that's how you get the values now this is how the table will look like so the mass t1 t2 and then we find the average then you come and square the average we divide the average by the number of oscillations to get big t then we can get t squared right so this is how the table looks like now this is the theory behind the experiment okay this is the equation that we're given so we can just start from here right so we start from here this is the equation now they said we should plot effective mass we should plot the pure squared against the mass the load so we are plotting this against this in this equation so what we do is that we square this right we square both sides so when we square both sides we have t squared here and then the four pi squared and then it will take this square root off now when we do that then we separate it into the component and we compare to the equation of a straight line this doesn't have any intercept so it has zero plus zero right that's for this equation there's no intercept but for the second equation here there's an intercept that's what makes it us get a line which is straight though but it doesn't go through the origin okay so when we separate it into y equals ms plus c this becomes our y component this becomes our m then this becomes our s component and then plus zero is here so that's how we find the spring constant first okay so we'll get a graph that looks like this it's a straight line but it touches the intercept here but this equation tells us that it doesn't have any intercept but this equation this other equation tells us it has an intercept so after plotting our graph we find our slope right the slope will be the change in the t squared of a change in the m and then we can equate the value of our slope to this because we said the whole of this is our slope so we equate the value of the slope to this and then we can find k we can make k to the subject and then find k here now to also find the now to also find the spring constant we use this equation so we use this equation here to find the spring constant so this is the equation now we need to separate it into its various components so first of all we need to eliminate the square root so this will be squared t squared and then 4 pi squared and then this and this will stand alone like this 
so when we do this it means that comparing the whole of this is our y component the whole of this is our m so we are comparing it to y equals to ms plus c ms plus c the whole of this is our y the whole of this is our slope and then this is our m and then the whole of this is our intercept okay so to find our effective mass which is mes to find our effective mass which is our mes we are finding this effective mass because we've already gotten this k we already know the value of k from here right so we'll come and put here so you see because this is cutting the intercept here and we are saying that this side is our intercept we equate the value of our intercept so c equals to 4 pi squared over k mes right then the value of the intercept we put that one here we put the value of the intercept here then this is a constant this we know this we also know k from the previous side then we can find our mes when we make mes a subject so that's all about the experiment then we can do our discussion and then conclusion thank you